Welcome back chess fans. This is Speedmaster Master Dennis Arman. We are back again with some Banter Blitz action. So now my opponent plays the Scandinavian from Brazil. FJS chess. Okay, let's go for knight c3. Okay, we play Scandinavian. Knight f3. I'm gonna go for a little bit more entertaining line. Let's play knight to c4, if bishop c4, bishop c4, I want to just uh, play for the big pair of bishops. Black's position is quite solid. On the other hand, I have some good... Um, white has also comfortable play with a um, pair of bishops against the solid play for uh, position of black. So I will try to create some extra opportunities in the position, but as long as we are castling to the king side, even if my if my opponent do the same, we are not going to see a lot of sharp variations. But okay, now my opponent wants to capture on d4. I would like to play this silent move bishop b3 and try to play this rook a d1 to create uh, some uh, compensation for the material. I'm not really sure if I can manage that. But um, there could be some nice opportunities for me to, to play for here. Okay, I really I didn't really get what I wanted from this type of chess, but maybe I can create some complications. Still, I have some activity, but I, I'm I have doubts about how good is my compensation for the sacrifice pawn. Okay, let's try to stick to the plan and play for development advantage. So we are one step ahead with the development of the pieces. So I'm gonna bring the rook into the game. As soon as I bring the rook into the game, I, I feel like I will get some good compensation for my pieces. If you see this bishop is doing quite well especially this queen is stuck on the h4 i don't understand why my open didn't offer, ask for exchange of queens by playing queen to g4 which was um, quite interesting because now black has some serious issues actually suddenly i realized that the pieces are not um, correctly placed so i can try to create some problems for my opponent but in order to do so I have to be very very accurate maybe I can start with this rook d4 move which is quite interesting because now I want to take on f6 and not f6 but maybe knight b6 type of moves where I can sacrifice the knight on f7 then this e6 pawn is uh, quite weak and by playing knight b6, of course, I threaten this queen. So this queen is a little bit strange queen on this one side of the board. I feel like I have a great move here, great combination. Rook takes d7. My plan is that I want to capture on f6 and this queen is hanging now. So if you take on f3, I would get, uh, grab a piece and win uh, material. So let's see if my opponent has something in mind. It seems like I did pretty well with this move. And now I'm a piece up. Very nice. Wow. This was a great game. So thank you for watching our video. We will continue with some more Blitz games soon. So keep following our YouTube channel. And see you on our next video. Bye.